The Beaches Podcast is going to give you everything you want to know about a beach before you go there. I hope you enjoy the show. Be sure to check out our website, www.sandee.com. Without further ado, let's get into the show. Okay, so get this. Beach trip. In Arizona. Whoa. You guys are really leaning into the unexpected with this one. I'm guessing you're looking for something a little different than your like your typical beach vacation. You're definitely right about that. Arizona isn't exactly, uh, you know, known for its coastlines. Right. We're talking about a state practically synonymous with deserts, canyons, and those incredible saguaro cacti, right? Yeah. It's not the first place that comes to mind for building sandcastles or anything. No, not quite. More like hiking boots and sunscreen, right? So... How does a beach trip even work in Arizona? Is it even possible? That's where things get interesting. See, Arizona is all about reframing expectations. Yeah. We're talking desert beaches, these incredible lake shores tucked away amidst these iconic landscapes. Think of it. Sparkling blue water contrasted against towering red rock canyons, maybe a roadrunner darting by. It's a different kind of beach experience, but no less relaxing or awe-inspiring. Desert beaches. I'll admit, you've got my attention. What are we talking about here specifically? Imagine this. You're on a houseboat on Lake Powell, sun setting over the canyons, casting this incredible orange glow on the water. Now, Lake Powell's human-made, but its shoreline stretches for over 2,000 miles. It's more coastline than the entire California Pacific coast. Wow. You've got swimming, boating, kayaking. It's an oasis in the truest sense of the word. Wow, I never considered houseboating in the desert. Is it surreal being out on the water surrounded by those landscapes? Absolutely. It's like being in another world. And then there's Lake Havasu now. This one's famous for its London Bridge. Yep, the actual London Bridge, carefully dismantled and rebuilt brick by brick in Arizona. Yeah. Havasu offers these beautiful sandy shores and crystal clear water. Hold on, the London Bridge is in Arizona? Yeah. Okay, I'm picturing this massive bridge... In the middle of the desert, people swimming below. See, this is why I love these deep dives. Always something unexpected. Now, you mentioned desert beach. Does that mean they're clothing optional? You know, asking for a friend? Uh, very important question. Yeah. While the desert landscapes might inspire a sense of freedom, you know. Yeah. It's essential to remember that Arizona has its own rules. Right. Public nudity is generally restricted, but it's always a good idea to double check specific location rules. Of course. Yeah. Just like you wouldn't wear hiking boots to a beach party. It's all about respecting local customs. Good point. So while skinny dipping in the desert might not be on the itinerary, there's still plenty to experience, right? I mean, it's not every day you get to explore a lake in the heart of the desert. Exactly. And beyond the lakes, you've got the Grand Canyon, right? Right. There's incredible desert landscapes, ancient petroglyphs, incredible stargazing. Well, forget the cacti selfies. You're absolutely right. It really makes you think about what truly defines a beach experience. Is it the ocean itself? Or is it that feeling of escape, of being surrounded by natural beauty, of adventure? Arizona offers all of those things and more, just in its own unique way. I love that. You might even find yourself craving the desert beaches of Arizona, the next time you're staring at the ocean, wondering what unexpected adventures lie elsewhere. I love that. Thanks for listening to the show and be sure to tune in next week for your favorite episode about some of the best beaches and beach information in the world.